up to the outside stall. Skippy Longstocking is in. They're all in line, ready for the start. They're off in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. And it's full Serrano and Tio Sondani who go out to the front together. Saudi Crown came out third to their inside. And outside of them, it's Tumbarumba. Then sees the gray in behind horses. Muth four wide into that turn. Then Mufasa and Skippy Longstocking. Two and a half to Katona. The domestic product, three technique, followed by the trailers, Caliostro and Post Time. So they race to the back stretch here. And Tio Sondani has taken the lead. Tio Sundany at a 22.3 opening quarter mile by three quarters of the length. Full Serrano, Tumbarumba, and Muth lined up right behind. Then on the rail, Saudi Crown and sees the gray alongside. Outside of them, Skippy Longstocking is five lengths behind, clear of Mufasa. And then domestic product, Katona with nine lengths to make up past a half mile as they enter the far turn, and that was 45.47 seconds. So Tio Sondani at a brisk pace with three furlongs to go, trying to hold on to this lead from Full Serrano. Muth is on the far outside. Tumbarumba sent along two and a half back, and now Domestic Product is getting going. Domestic Product's going to come five wide. Right behind him sees the gray. A really wide run here for Skippy Longstocking. Katona is also trying to mount a charge. Mufasa and Post Time is coming from the back of the pack as well. Full Serrano has taken the lead. Post Time is splitting horses late. Domestic Product on the outside. It is going to be Full Serrano and Post Time. Full Serrano in the dirt mile. Post time was second. Domestic product was third. Then a photo between Tumbarumba and Katona. Full Serrano wins it for John Sadler, Joel Rosario, and a tactical trip from the son of Full Mast. Great job here by trainer John Sadler. And I think I said before the race, I think it was a blessing in disguise that he didn't run in the California crown. I really do. He came in as a fresh horse. He runs well fresh. He was close to the pace and he drew off. And that was quite impressive yeah. because of how fast this pace was. There were so many different horses trying to vie for that lead position. Tio Sundany was the fastest of all early, but it seemed like all of the horses that were forwardly placed kind of got cooked in that pace because the only other horse that was closing was Post Time, who did run a very nice race to finish second. But here's a look at Full Serrano, and he was in the thick of it. I mean, he was chasing the pace of the two, Tio Sundany. They were six across the track at the quarter pole. They I mean, were. There were quite a few horses with an opportunity in here. But this is another horse that has the stamina for the mile and a quarter, and you can send him into a pace like this at a flat mile. That's exactly right. Uh, you know, he's an up-tempo horse. Here we spin off the turn here, what Christine was talking about. One, two, three, four. Domestic product's going to join the party here and make it five, and then the six with the horse to the outside. But, uh, you know, he's got the shortest way around there. And once he switches off, Joe Rosario gives him a little reminder there left hand. It makes that weight transfer and it's gone. I thought domestic product came with a nice run around the turn. Just flattened out a little bit here. I still he's probably better around one turn would be my guess. But this was an easy one in the end. Late, late interest from the eight post time. I think it was also the wide trip because yep. the nine domestic product was kind of out in the middle of the racetrack, yep. whereas post time he managed to cut the corner and save so much more ground. Big effort here from Full Serrano, the Argentinian bred. He already had a couple of starts here stateside at Del Mar. He was second in the grade one FanDuel Racing Pacific Classic. Missed the California crown, but he comes back on the big stage today to take home the big ass fans. Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. Post time second from off the pace, a wide trip for domestic product. Finishing third, waiting on that photo for fourth in the end and 13 to one on Full Serrano. We said this on the That's breakfast a shows price. a little bit. I find it's this race time and time again with prices coming in. You have yeah. sprinters, you have mile and a quarter horses. It's one of the more difficult races to handicap. Yeah, and this horse lightly raced, but like we said, out here, if you're based out here on the West Coast, he's always been an excellent workhorse. John Sadler talked about that. And so the, the, the race not gods always pay you back. Look, he, he couldn't get to run in the California crown. What Dan's done with straight no chaser being patient, it always, it might seem painful at the time, 
but it always, the, the, they, the racing gods take care of you. You have to keep focusing on the end goal. Yep. I mean, even to that point, think about a horse like Sierra Leone and how frustrating it's been for the connections, right. losing the Derby, losing all of these classic races this season, and then taking the year-end honors here. So they just posted it, 38974 across the board. That photo for fourth goes to the seven. Huge price on Tumbarumba. And then the four Katona checking in fifth. It was quite a scramble for home, but I think everybody maintaining their paths pretty clearly. Didn't affect the winner. He was clear. He was in the inside. But uh, you see the eight just drifts out a little bit there. Um, I don't know whether it affected the result, but... I think he just had so he he was flying home so fast that he was kind of all over the racetrack. But I don't know. I don't think that there's anything bad about that. Nice little gesture there from Sheldon Russell <laughs> to Joel Rosario across the wire. Full Serrano, your winner for Heronis Racing of the Big Ass Fans Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. We'll be back after prices. The result is official. Yeah, now entering the winner's circle is the official winner of today's Big Ass Fans Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile, number three, Full Serrano. He's a five-year-old dark bay or brown horse by Full Mast from Serra do Mar by Jumpstart. He was bred in Argentina by Haras Gran Muneca. The winning owners are Aronis Racing. Winning trainer is John Sadler and the winning jockey, Joel Rosario.